in this video we're coming up to a playground zone and this video is to serve as a reminder that when you enter into an official playground zone or a school zone you can't assume that you're out of that zone just because you turn onto a new road you need to see the back of that same sign that you saw coming in so in this case the playground zone sign is a diamond um, and there is a person with a basketball and there is a 30 sign below it so now we're in official 30 zone we need to keep between 25 to 30 in this zone and we're scanning for the back of that same sign to see where it is and we can kind of see a glimmer of it uh, over here so past this intersection here uh, so if we were planning on continuing straight that's uh, where the end would be but in this case we're going to be going making a left turn and because there's construction up ahead here we got a signal and shoulder check to the left prior to drifting over to the left here and the flag person is uh, directing us here and as we turn on to this new road we have to look for the back of that same sign in this case it's right here the diamond with the rectangle and to denote that that's the end of the playground zone now we're back into uh, whatever speed limit is posted on this road and because there was no speed limit posted at the time of this video here um, we can assume that we're back in a 50 zone now sometimes I say that to students and they're like this is a 50 zone and again the backdrop is 50 but you have to use your discretion uh, as to what makes sense so if you're going 25 here when there's no need it's considered too slow whereas if you're um, going 50 into a blind corner of course that's not uh, using good discretion uh, now this is at the time of this video I think in the next little while here after uh, creating this video um, the traffic or the posted speed limit on these roads are going to be either 30 or 40 um, because they've changed the bylaw here in, uh, in Saanich but that's a different story for a different day um, the topic of this video is just identifying where this playground zone begins and then subsequently where the playground zone officially ends which is when you see the back of this same sign here